It's interesting that sometimes we have to change directions. And in the case of a router, we might have that router. We bring up the interfaces. We configure IP addresses on those interfaces. We train it to route. We may use static routes or we may use dynamic routing protocols. We say, route, baby, route, forward traffic. But you know what? We might want to change direction sometime and say, you know what? We don't always want you to route. For example, if there's some traffic that's coming through, if it looks like this, if it's coming from this IP address or it's using this protocol, drop it. And we can implement that by using a method called packet filtering using an access control list. And that's what this group of videos is all about. So we're gonna start that journey by taking a look at the next video, which is all about the concepts of access control lists that are used for packet filtering. I'll see you there in just a moment.